Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making this month's Rita recipe, which is a easy spin on a classic recipe everybody loves. We're gonna be making a Kentucky lasagna casserole and I know you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and get started. Is there anybody out there who doesn't love pasta or who doesn't love lasagna? I personally don't know anyone who doesn't, but there might be, I don't know. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure that everybody loves those two things. And oftentimes making a whole big homemade lasagna can be a little bit cumbersome and time consuming. So when I ran across this recipe, I knew I had to make it because I knew it would be a delicious and easy recipe that everybody would love. So we're gonna go ahead and the first thing that we're gonna do is to a large pot, we're gonna add one large onion that has been diced and three cloves of garlic that have also been finely minced. Then to that, we're gonna add one pound of sweet Italian sauce sausage and one pound of ground beef. We're gonna cook this over medium heat. Just wanna make sure that everything is broken down really small and that the meat is cooked thoroughly through and that the onions and garlic are nice, fragrant, and soft. After the meat is fully cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. First, we're gonna add the spices, which are one teaspoon of dried oregano, parsley, and basil and then a half a teaspoon of ground dried fennel and rosemary. Next, you're gonna add two jars of your favorite spaghetti sauce and two cans of petite diced tomatoes. Stir everything together and to make sure it's combined and turn it down to medium low. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer and just leave it be and let it cook for a little bit while we get everything else prepared for the rest of the recipe. The next step we're gonna do is make the cheese filling. To a large bowl, you're gonna add 16 ounces of cottage cheese, two cups of shredded mozzarella, a half a cup of grated Parmesan, two eggs, and a half a cup of milk. Just mix that all together until the eggs are broken down and everything is thoroughly combined. Next, we're gonna make the topping for this casserole. We're gonna do this after it's already baked about halfway through, but we're gonna go ahead and get it ready right now. So to a large bowl, you're gonna add two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese and one cup of seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. Just toss together so that the cheese and breadcrumbs are all mixed and set aside until the very end, until we need it. Then the last step is just to boil the noodles. To a large stock pot, you're gonna add some water, place it on the stove over high heat and bring to a rapid boil. Liberally salt this water. This is where all the noodles get their flavor, so don't skip this step. And you're gonna add one large bag of egg noodles. Give it a good stir so it doesn't stick together. And you're only gonna cook these for about one to two minutes because it will finish cooking in the oven as it bakes. So don't overcook them. One to two minutes, as soon as that time is up, remove from the heat, drain in a colander and set aside until we're ready to assemble everything together. Now's the fun part. We're gonna assemble this casserole and pop it in the oven. To start the assembly process, we're gonna put about three cups of sauce in the bottom of a very large, deep 13 by nine pan. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a really high sided 13 by nine pan for this because this recipe makes a ton and there's a lot of stuff that goes into this. So three cups of sauce right on the bottom, spread it out evenly all across the dish. Then you're gonna evenly spread about half of the noodles right on top of that sauce. Next, add about half of the sauce that's already remaining in the pot right on top of the noodles. And then you're gonna layer all of the cheese mixture. So the entire cottage cheese and mozzarella mixture, pour that right on top and spread evenly all across the dish. Then you're gonna add the last half of the noodles, making sure to spread evenly all the way across to the edges. And then last but not least, finish by topping it all off with the rest of the sauce. We're gonna cover this baking dish in foil and pop this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes. After that time is up, remove it from the oven and remove the foil. And this is when we're gonna add the breadcrumb and mozzarella topping. Sprinkle that all on top evenly so that all the corners and everything is covered. And you're gonna pop it back in the oven to bake for about 20 minutes until the cheese is hot and melty and slightly brown. Remove it from the oven and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes just to kind of set up a little bit before you serve it. Everybody is gonna love this Kentucky lasagna casserole. It checks all the boxes. It's delicious, it's easy, it feeds a ton. It's a great late night go-to meal. I mean, we're just covering all the bases for this one. I know you're gonna love it. So for the full recipe, head on over to KentuckyLiving.com. Everything you need to know, plus a ton of other really delicious, easy weeknight dinners can be found there. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen again. And until next month, I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bye.